Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. Typically, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape to do the job. First, unscrew your existing switch from the wall. On a standard single pole switch, you should have two wires connected to the switch plus a ground wire. Make sure that you have a neutral wire connection in the wall. Most newer, mid 80s on homes have neutrals in each wall box, which are usually white wires in the back of the box. If you don't have a neutral wire, check the installation guide to see if it's required. This connection is optional for some products. In this video, we're using a Caseta Pro dimmer. However, these instructions apply to other products that have the same color wires. Connect the ground wire to the green wire on your new dimmer using a wire cap. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the dimmer. Next, connect the hot live wire from the old switch to the black wire on the dimmer. Connect the remaining wire that goes to the light to the red wire on the dimmer. Connect the white wire to the neutral wires in your wall box if applicable. If you do not have a neutral wire in the wall box and your installation guide states the neutral connection is optional, simply place a wire cap on the white wire on your new control. Place a wire cap on the blue wire. You don't need it for a single pole installation. Screw the control back into the wall and add the wall plate. 